morning, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kevin Hale. I'm the Chief of Police here in the city of Ansonia. And standing to my left is Mayor Jim Delahopi. Uh, I thank you all for coming in on such short notice. Uh, I felt it was important to get together with you to uh, bring you up to speed on the incident that occurred earlier this morning in Ansonia. Um, we don't have much more than what we've been giving you this morning, but at least this gives you an opportunity to perhaps ask some questions. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a statement concerning the incident that occurred early today in Ansonia. I'll then take a few questions, um, but please just remember that we're still very early into this investigation and the details that I can release are, are limited. On July 15, 2009, today at approximately 12.25 a.m., Ansonia police officers on patrol in the Riverside uh, apartment complex heard multiple gunshots coming from the area of the second horseshoe and immediately responded to the area. Upon the officer's arrival, they located a female in the courtyard bleeding from the chest area. The officers gave medical aid to the female, identified as Bernice McFadden, age 39, and summoned an ambulance to the scene. Ms. McFadden was transported to Griffin Hospital where she was pronounced dead a short time later. She sustained at least one gunshot wound to the chest area. It is unknown if the victim was the intended target of the shooting. The suspect, is described as a black male wearing a white shirt, white hat, and blue jeans. The suspect may have fled in a gray or silver colored mid-size sedan. At this time, the investigation is ongoing, and we are asking any persons with information to contact the Ansonia Police Department at 203-735-1885 and ask for a detective. And all calls, obviously, will be kept confidential. Um, as it is uh, in law enforcement, it's the same with the media business. We are driven by information. And so we're asking for the public's assistance, the residents' assistance, in uh, helping us to solve this crime. So I will now take a, a few questions. Um, Chief, I know that a couple weeks ago there was a fatal stabbing there. I think there were, was there increased patrols after that, and were those the officers that happened to be so close by? There was, there's always been patrol there. And after the incident from uh, several weeks ago, we did increase patrols down there. Um, but that varies. We're a small department, so everybody's in and out. So no one particular officer was assigned. So all officers are rotated through all the sectors. But would you consider pretty brazen that how close were, were your, was your unit when this happened? Well, the, the, the apartment's uh, complex is broken into two shoes, uh, horseshoes. And uh, the officer there was, a, was in the first horseshoe um, monitoring a, a, a fairly large group of people. No issues, but just monitoring the group. And that's when the uh, shooting occurred in the second horse. The officer was able to get over there very quickly. But he was pretty close? Pretty close. Pretty close. Chief, can you talk a little bit about what it's been like there since that stabbing? I know we went to court, and the, uh, uh, just even coming out of court, they were yelling across the street. They said, we're going to go back. They said, the retaliation. What has been kind of the sense of the calls and, and leading up to it last night? We have not. Um, for Lieutenant Cohen. We have not seen an uptick in that. If that's been happening, it hasn't been brought to our attention. Um, we, you know, we certainly at this point have not ruled out any connection or no connection to that prior incident. So that's certainly something to look at as well. Uh, but nothing to substantiate a connection at this point. Are you uh, going back to talk to some of the people that were kind of connected to the, uh, the stabbing? Oh, this, we're going to be talking to a lot of people. We're going to be talking to a lot of people. We really are relying on the on the residents there and uh, residents everywhere to help us out with this thing. This uh, case, as I said, information, timely information is critical to uh, solving this. Mayor, do you, do you think that, I mean, should people think that they're safe in that complex or is this just sort of bad timing or, you know, coincidence? No, they're definitely safe. We, we work very hard, our police force works very hard on patrol in the area. And uh, you want to make sure that they're over there and that the residents are safe. Uh, as the chief has stated, you know, we're asking the cooperation from the residents, the tenants, uh, you know, for information. I also call upon uh, our local NAACP leader, Greg Johnson, uh, to come out and help us, uh, uh, you know, try to talk to some people and try to get information that will help solve this uh, unfortunate uh, tragedy. Did he say how he would be able to help? Did he say he was going to come in and try to do that? I haven't, uh, I haven't talked to him just yet, but I'm just I'm going to get out, reach out to him, and ask him to uh, come on, you know, to come out and help us. Uh, Chief, are you guys going to do anything differently in that area so, with, with the, the rash of? Um, yes, we're going to we're going to step up patrols again, and uh, we're going to do what we have to do to uh, um, 
maintain the safety uh, for the citizens over there. Um, it's a difficult time, you know, and this is a young woman who lost her life, and uh, we need to figure out why, who and why. Any idea who she is and why she was at that car park? Um, I believe she has family down there, um, as far as visiting. Um, again, that's just a supposition at this point. Do you know where she's uh, technically from? Is she considered a Connecticut woman? Or? <coughs> yes, we've not confirmed an address. Do you plan to make any recommendations to the Housing Authority about ways they can improve uh, safety there in terms of, I know that there's no, there's no cameras of any kind there. There's right. I've, I've already had uh, uh, two discussions with the Executive Director of the Housing Authority today, and uh, we're going to, you know, just to get through the initial uh, the information exchange, to have discussions, I believe the mayor will certainly be involved in that to talk about uh, anything that we can do from, the, from their, their side, the city side, to, uh, to make it better. Yeah, we're we're going to continue with our reform plans. Uh, I want to make that clear. You know, the status quo as we see today uh, cannot continue. So, once again, we're going to continue uh, with, uh, within the next few weeks. We have two vacant buildings over there which we are going to de demolish. Uh, we have plans to uh, demolish, uh, take down four others within the upcoming year or two. And after that, the rest of the buildings, and then we plan to put, uh, I think it's townhouses for affordable housing there. So we're going to continue with our reform plan. And then in terms of, I mean, those, are, those buildings were built in the 60s. How does that make it, or does it make it tough to patrol? And if crime is going to break out, does it, is it easier to, to happen there than other places because of the layout? Uh, that's a good question. It's a difficult design. That was designed probably in the late 1950s, early 1960s. And um, from a, a law enforcement security aspect, it is difficult to patrol. Um, the buildings are at some odd angles. The, uh, the building openings, the apartment openings, uh, face away from the street. They have the backs of the house, the buildings to the street. Um, some of the buildings have some odd angles. The bigger buildings with 18 apartments have these, uh, these jogs that come out with additional apartments in them. And you literally can't see from one end of the building to the other on that side and some of the hallways are blocked by these these apartments and so it is difficult and it's wide open um, there are you know infinite number of ways to get in and out of there um, you know not include not driving aside on foot you can get in there most any any way conceivable so it, the design is not helpful to uh, to effective security down there uh, but we are doing the best that we can with it. Chief when the officer responded was was he alone in his car, but he went and sort of went to the gun shops anyway? Did he was Correct. He in danger? Correct. And there were, and actually there were uh, two other officers right here in the Main Street area, actually on West Main Street heard, heard the uh, gunfire, and they were there within uh, you know, 30 seconds. So, um, you know, that's what they do. Yes, we've had input um, with the housing authority and with the executive director on uh, on plans for the uh, for any future. Um, we had asked for that, and they'd actually uh, encouraged us to come in. So yes, we've had uh, discussions on that, fruitful discussions.